Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavan Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we are going to fix connection error sending email, retrying once more in 10 second error while sending email from the Jenkins job. All right, you can see Jenkins has tried sending email to this guy again and it failed. Okay, while this job seems to be successful. Okay. There is nothing wrong with the job as we can see some of the windows command got executed successfully but there is an error while sending email from the jenkins to uh, jenkins job to this guy okay which is configured so as in when we get this error what to do let us understand the jenkins configuration and let us validate it again okay so what could cause this uh, error so we'll go to the manage jenkins and we'll go to the system inside the system configuration over here and uh, let it load the system configuration and we will look for we'll go all the way down and we'll check the email notification over here so i'm using this uh, gmail smtp server smtp.gmail.com is the address or server address okay server name for the gmail and let us go to the advanced section where we have checked use smtp authentication and i have given my personal account gmail account and i am using the app password over here okay so if you want to know how to generate the app password you can watch out my previous videos which i have uploaded in this channel if you have followed the uh, video previous video properly you should be able to you know uh, generate the app password okay it is quite simple you all you have to do is to go to the google account which you have configured over here so you can go to the manage google account and you go to the security you go to the two step verification okay inside sign in to google you go to the two step verification and then you have to give your account password okay and then uh, you have to scroll all the way down and here i have added the app password okay so i have i'm using the first app password okay which i have already added if you want to add the app password again you, either you can remove it let's jenkins 5 okay so if you want to know like how i have received the password so i can add the app you can add as many as as many uh, app as you want okay okay there were, but here app name uh, should be jenkins i mean because we are uh, making some agreement between uh, jenkins and the google right to, uh, for the authentication two factor authentication so here what you have to do you have to click on create and it will generate the password for you and this is something which you have to add to the uh, jenkins configuration over here so which i have already added okay just in case if you want to add you have to add the same thing and rest of the things seems to be fine because um, let us see the test configuration test email configuration SMTP port should be 465 and you have to check this use SSL secure socket layer uh, checkbox and you have to use 465 this is the SMTP port for the Gmail uh, Google Gmail and you have to use reply to address so in this case rmishraqa at the rate gmail.com is my uh, address and the car set should be UTF-8 by default okay so let me send the email to this guy okay rmishraqa let us click on this test configuration and uh, let's see how it goes see uh, email was successfully sent so we can cross check our email yeah we are getting the email we are receiving the email from the jenkins okay now at the beginning of this program in the beginning of, beginning of this video what i mentioned like uh, we are getting we were getting uh, some kind of you know issues connection issue right so let let us go to the let us go to the program again and i will uh, click on save this and uh, i'll go back and uh, want to highlight this error again what we were getting so i will just uh, retry and uh, we'll see this error and then we will work on fixing it the fix is quite simple i'll tell you what went wrong with this okay so just before that just uh, make sure that we are fixing this error connection error sending email so as in when we get this error so i have so far i have told you like how to generate the app password and how to go to this uh, setting email notification setting okay so again i'm going back to the manage jenkins and we'll go to the system same thing just note it down guys it is going to be 
uh, useful when you are setting the Jenkins for the first time and want uh, Jenkins to send email notification to the recipients, then this setting is useful. This kind of you know configuration is very 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 much required. Okay, so here everything went well and we were using SMTP at the rate gmail.com. But at the same time, just check extended email notification. See everything is uh, kind of you know blank or you would have not configured this uh, particular you know you have setting or section properly so if it is left out then you will get that error so just make sure you are using the same kind of you know values like smtp server same smtp which you have configured in the email section below you have to use smtp at the, uh, dot gmail dot com if you are in some corporate or companies you have to use the smtp server whatever they have given to you okay here the smtp port uh, for the gmail server is gmail smtp server uh, port is uh, 465 you have to click on advanced and here if it is set to none then you have to if it is set to none then you have to make sure that the you are using the uh, same password which you have you know generated from here okay so as i have already generated as part of this particular app okay which i have created so if it is not there or if you are kind of confused that what could be the password you can generate it again and you have to use the same password uh, in both places same password should be used for email notification as well as for the extended email notification which you are seeing here so since i have already stored uh, the app password and i'm using the same app password for the email notification i am going to use the same thing okay here it is not your uh, account password rather we are using the app password so that we are making some kind of an agreement between gmail and the google that okay with this password app password you can authenticate and i will be able to send uh, the email from my jenkins job to uh, uh, gmail okay so it so that's it and then you have to cl click on this use ssl and then you have to just okay so that's it guys and here in this okay reply to list i'm adding my um, account same uh, email address where i want to send the email so this is the rep uh, recipient okay and here i can make certain changes based on my need so i'm just giving hi below is the test report and thanks automation team and this is the project name which is the nothing but the jenkins job name and the build whether it is successful or not it will uh, tell you the status of the build okay and this is the build number build and the build number so it, if it is going to be five or five or six or seven or eight or whatever right so it is going to print the next number build number and it is if it is successful or it is failed it is going to tell you the status of this and this is the email uh, body basically the default content which we are going to receive and this is the subject you can mention your uh, name or it, any subject line if you want okay so which we are going to receive in the email okay so jenkins name the build number and the status let us save this job guys and i will click on the apply and save and we will run this job okay so just we will run this test email and if you want to see the configuration what could be the configuration of this it is pretty simple and uh, what i did i just uh, created a job free line project freestyle project basically and i have just given the windows command and i'm just echoing windows batch command successfully i'm giving the date and time and then in the post build action i'm just giving the email notification and the uh, l table email notification is also there the project from so this i have configured my email address for the uh, as a sender and the recipient also okay for the demonstration of this video you can give you can send the email to anyone you want so you have to give the you have to provide the actual email uh, address pro uh, separated by comma here okay so if you want to you know send to multiple or maybe the to the group you can use the group or you can give some comma and give the uh, give the uh, multiple email addresses separated by comma all right and here here in this case you can also change the subject or if you want based on this it will override the default uh, thing okay whatever we have given there and then uh, yeah we are we are i'll go to the advanced setting over here 
okay and uh, let me go to the advance recipients editable email and yeah so i'm sending uh, the email to the recipients okay so let me go to this advanced setting and uh, workspace yeah so the trigger is like always sent to the recipient list okay so i'm not going to if you want to add some developer or any kind of you know user okay you can use those setting but i am just giving my email address as a recipient list and i am expecting that gmail jenkins should send email to the recipient list which is nothing but the uh, recipient list i have already mentioned over here okay so this is project to list and this is recipients okay so this is that job and uh, i will just click and save and i'm going to click on build now so let us see after all this configuration so SMTP server port we have given 465 SMTP server detail we have uh, filled in in the editable and email notification section okay which was missing from there so the entry should be same uh, in both places email uh, notification as well as in the extended email notification okay so this time there is no error as such okay so let us see if the email has been sent successfully or not see email has sent to this guy r mistra qa okay to this is sender and this is the receiver also reply to and this okay so whatever content default content was there so hi below is the test report and this is the test email this is my jenkins job name and the build number and the build status okay so this is how So this is how you can send email to the uh, recipient or to this uh, to anyone okay from the jenkins job so that's it uh, from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching